Triggered by snowfall, in the Raincoast Forest, this mother bear is leading her cubs to the safety of a den. Plump on salmon, they will survive here for the next five months. Meanwhile, in the Great North Woods, as the temperature plummets, wood frogs freeze solid. Antifreeze in their blood keeps them alive. These painted turtles have just hatched. But they too freeze in their nests until food comes along with the spring. The seasonal forest is in suspended animation. But not all sleeps. Small mammals and birds venture into the cold to search for food. With oily fur resistant to frost, this wolverine is looking for a meal. He may need to travel up to 30 kilometers a day to find it. This moose is roaming its territory. Weighing half a ton and standing up to two and a half meters tall, this is the largest land mammal in North America. Its long legs are perfectly adapted to walk through deep snow. And for extra insulation, its thick fur is made of hollow hairs. Moose can survive the winter by browsing on barren twigs and bark. White-tailed deer have a much more difficult time. They are adapted to life in warm climates further south. These forests are as far north as they can survive. One quarter the size of a moose, their small bodies feel the cold. And their short legs make walking in snow treacherous. Beneath conifer trees, the snow is shallower and the canopy helps to keep the air a few degrees warmer. Despite this, many will succumb to the winter. And those animals that perish provide a crucial source of food for scavengers. <laughs> 